I'm so excited. We're just about to go on stage for Fanfare Chicago. Two world premieres, a fanfare by Nicholas Hubble and a piece by one of our three Donna Milanovic composers in residence, Reynaldo Moya. And then we're doing the American premiere of Jennifer Higdon's Mandolin Concerto with mandolin player Avi Avital. So thrilled, it's just about to go down here at the Harris Theater. And I saw the call for a fanfare, mm -hmm. and I thought, wow, this is, what an exciting opportunity. And then I went online and found panoramic photos of Chicago, and that, I said, oh, that's it, right there. That just tells you the whole story. Look at the vibrance, look at the colors, look at the architecture. And the piece came out pretty fast that way, and it's structured kind of like the, 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 the cityscape is. It never really goes into any valleys. It's always really right there presenting itself in all its glory. When I was asked to write this piece, Master Speck just gave me the prompt of write something that will engage with the Latin American Baroque. And so what I did is I found this beautiful uh, song from the eastern coast of Venezuela, from the island of Margarita, that's known as the Polo Margariteño, that it turns out it is based on a, on a very old Spanish chord progression from the late Renaissance, the early Baroque period. And so what you're gonna hear in the piece is early Baroque sound, right? And sometimes we're in that space and then we go straight into the space of like Venezuelan folk music. So it's a little bit um, kaleidoscopic in that sense. When I'm writing a concerto, I'm thinking solely about the performer. Making interesting musical lines that the soloist can play, but also showing off the instrument. This piece is an, an event for me. <laughs> it is a milestone uh, for me personally, but also I think an important moment in the history of, of mandolin repertoire. The biggest challenge for an instrument that is maybe not like a violin concerto or piano concerto, things we normally hear is just to get to know the instrument and the repertoire, how the instrument sounds the best, and then where I could kind of draw the audience into kind of the exquisite beauty. What an amazing experience. The Chicago Philharmonic Society just had two world premieres and the American premiere of Jennifer Higdon's Mandolin Concerto. Avi Avital's fingers were on fire. This evening was remarkable. People are having a great time now at our post-concert reception sponsored by Continental Autosports Ferrari and Heidsick Rare Champagne. I couldn't be more thrilled to be a part of this organization and I'm looking forward to the future and the future is very bright for the Chicago Philharmonic Society.